Hi, this is Pratik and welcome to CodeBerry Pi. In this video lesson, we'll learn about level-wise insertion in a Pi tree. Now, the objective of this lesson is that first we will be given a list like this and then we will have to make use of this list and then make a Pi tree out of it such that the entire Pi tree looks like that everything has been inserted in a level-wise format. So, we are given this list. So, the level-wise insertion the help of this list would be first we create the root node with data as one now initially once left and right will be none and none respectively now that we have constructed a node with data as one which means now we have to construct a new node with data as two and then attach two to once left so remember that first the left part will be filled and then the right part will be filled so after we have attached two to once left we will be forming a new node with data as three and we will be attaching that node to one's right now we will again forming a node with data as four and we will be attaching it to two's left and similarly we will be forming the other nodes in the similar fashion so i hope that you have understood level wise insertion that is first we completely fill the first level the first level is the this level then we filled the second level that is this level and then we filled the third level and finally the fourth level and for every node its left part gets occupied first and then its right part so we're gonna understand the algorithm behind this step by step so the first thing we're gonna do is that we will make an empty queue and our first objective will be to form the root node having the data as one so we will be forming that root node and we will push that inside this empty queue. So the node with data as one gets pushed inside this empty queue. And remember that the first level will only contain one node, that is the root node. And whenever a level gets completely filled, then only we are going to pop from this queue. So the first level is completely filled and we are then going to pop from this queue. And then we have to attach two and three to one's left and right positions respectively also remember that while forming the root node we had popped out one from the front of this list and then we formed the root node all right so after this we will be popping again from the front of the list make a node out of it and then attach that node to the popped items item from the queue that is that was the node with as one and we're gonna attach this two this newly created node with once left and after making this connection we're gonna append this newly created node inside this queue after this we're gonna again pop from the list and again make a new node out of it and then attach that node to once right and after making this connection you got to append this newly created node at the end of this queue after doing all these things you see that the second level is also filled which means now it's time to again pop from the queue so understand that the reason why i am popping is that after i have reached this step i will have to take out this four from this list make a node out of it but when you make a node out of it where are you gonna place it so to understand and to identify the position where of its placement you are going to pop from the queue so you gonna place this newly created node at two's left or i should say the popped items left so i pop out from the queue so the popped item is this and now i have identified the popped items the popped item and then i'm gonna make a new node and attach to the left of this popped item so to make a new node again i'm gonna pop from the list make a note out of it and then attach it to the popped items left and after making this connection i'm going to append this newly created note at the end of this queue after this again i am gonna pop from this list make a new node out of it and attach it to two's right and after making this attachment you're gonna again append this newly created note at the end of the queue. and then when we have reached up to this position then again I am gonna pop from this list and make a new node out of it but there's a question mark on where would you place this new node so we know that we have to place this new node to the left of three 
but how would our algorithm understand that we have to place this new node to the left of three so for that purpose we are going to pop from the queue and we're going to say that we are going to attach six to the popped items left so six gets attached to the popped items left and now we are again going to pop from the list make a new node out of it and then we're going to attach that new node to the popped items right but before doing that do not forget to append this node at the end of this queue so again after making this connection you got to append this newly created node at the end of the queue all right so again we're going to append from the list and then create a new node out of it but again there's a question mark on how how is our algorithm going to identify that we have to make a connection of this node to four's left so that we're going to identify by popping out from the front of this queue and then we're going to say that we are going to attach this node with the popped items left after this again we're going to pop from the list make a new node out of it but before doing that do not forget to append it inside this queue all right so now we make this connection and again we're going to append this newly created node inside this queue so finally we are done with the level wise inversion and finally our list is empty and when our list is empty you are going to stop all these steps so our algorithm is going to stop whenever the length of the list becomes zero so let's code this out so first we are going to create the class node and in this class node i am going to define a constructor with the parameter as the node data the data which i want to fill the newly created node and i will pass that data to the nodes data part and the nodes left part and the right part will be none and none now to do the level wise insertion i am going to define a function called insert and here i'm going to pass the list that i want to insert level wise inside the binary tree which means in the main function so when i will be calling this this function insert then i am going to pass the list that i want to insert level wise in the binary tree so this is the new list which will be coming here and when this list comes here so first thing i'm going to do is take this list and assign it to l and then we got to make an empty queue and now remember that first we have to make the root node so first i am going to pop from the list and make a new node out of it now to make a new node out of it i got to make use of this class node and the constructor that we have mentioned inside this class node so i'm going to make an object of this class node so that this constructor runs automatically when that whenever that object is created and i name that object as the root node and here i pass its data as key that is the popped item from the list which means a node with data as one gets formed and now i am going to append that newly created node inside the queue now to do the other steps i have to define a while loop now as i earlier said also that we have to finish the execution of all the steps when the length of the list becomes zero so remember that we are constantly popping from the list in order to make the connections and when in doing so when our list finally becomes empty then its length will become zero and in that case our while loop is going to stop now in this while loop the first thing we can do is pop from the list and after we have popped from the list i'm going to pop from the queue to identify the location where i am going to attach this key and that i'm going to identify by popping from the queue and then i'm going to attach m's left to the newly formed node with data as key and finally when i have made the connection i will append that newly created node at the end of the queue that is you append m's left to the queue now after doing so you have filled the left part of m you have to also fill the right part of m so first i am going to pop from the list and i am going to make a new node out of it and i am going to attach that new node to m's right and after making that connection i am going to insert that newly created node inside the queue and after i have done with all the steps i am simply going to return the root node of the entire binary that we have formed level wise inversion now see that this algorithm runs well when there are odd number of elements inside the list that we have specified earlier but what if there were even number of elements like in this case if 10 would have also been present here 
then it would have been even number of elements and after making the ninth connection that is in this case after making the ninth connection and let's suppose that 10 was also present here after 9 so after making the ninth connection this entire uh, while loop would have run again and then it would have popped from this queue then attach 10 to 5's left and that attachment is in, done in this step and then would have it would have appended the newly created node inside the queue and after that this step would have run so when this step runs it sees that l dot pop but l is already empty because while making this connection we formed the node with data as 10 and when we formed the node with data as 10 we popped out from this list but now according to our code it is again telling us to pop from the list when the list is empty and this is certainly going to throw an error so for preventing this error i am going to define a if statement here so if a length of the list is greater than zero then only i'm going to perform all these three steps fine so now since we are returning the root node at the end of this function so when this function is called in the main i am going to say that the return value will be passed to root node and then to show that we have actually successfully formed the binary tree i'm going to print the root nodes left dot data so which means two shall be printed out and then we're going to print the root nodes le right dot left dot data which means two once right is three and three's left is six root dot right dot left dot data should print six so i save this program and i run this so two and six should be printed yeah so this says that all right our code is absolutely correct and the binary tree got formed and we printed out two and six similarly you can print the other nodes data so if i wanted to print five then i would have said print root dot left dot right dot data if i would have i would have printed eight then i would have said root dot left dot left dot left dot data and that would have printed eight and that you can try it out for yourself so but for now i hope that you have understood this tutorial like and share this video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching